now with Jake and Sam, guitarist, bass player extraordinaire from Greta Van Fleet. All right. Welcome to Lollapalooza. Thanks. Thanks for having us here. Yeah. Really, we know that it was you who booked us here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, it's I, a lovely day in Chicago. It is. You know, we were talking Beautiful. about this before. This is one of the nicest days for Lollapalooza. It's like so sunny and it's not too hot today. Yeah, and you never know. It could be a downpour or you know, it might knock on wood on that. Uh, right, and that's not going to happen today. Not today. No, it's not Fair Blue Sky tomorrow is supposed to be 15 degrees hotter or something. Like I know. That. <laughs> well, it's nice to welcome you uh, in person to XRT, but we've welcomed you as a band and your music to XRT. Uh, you know, going back to last year so many good songs that have come along from you guys it's really a lot of fun to play on the radio in fact right now we're playing two of your songs uh currently you know we're playing um uh what's the song door on the ceiling when the curtain when the curtain falls, falls. what's door on the ceiling <laughs> hold on the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> that's a good tune too I, I will admit black keys i'll go back well, well thank you for the, no, the long back. support i'll go back i'll go back we're playing two songs from you guys right now we're playing when the curtain falls and also your cover of the adele song Oh, really? Yeah, we got a hold of that. Really? That is very from, cool. From Spotify? Yeah, yeah. And Amazing. we got it from the label, actually. No way. Like yeah. That. They allowed us to play it, so that's, that's, an, pretty that's a current rotation. That's cool. That's, so. cool. that's like the next level right there. Right? Yeah. How did that come about? Well, I think uh, we, we really all appreciate Adele. I mean, who doesn't? Great songstress <laughs> and singer and performer. And uh, I think one of us caught wind of Josh singing one day. And uh, when we got to Spotify to do the Spotify singles, we thought, let's do a modern cover. Right. Yeah, we had like um, uh, the Spotify sessions and it was, you know, to kind of go in and strip down a few of our songs. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we wanted to achieve a contemporary cover of some sort. And uh, it was like, it was pretty... In pretty initial and across the board they were like oh let's do it Del. let's do it let's wow. just go for it wow well uh josh thinks that really well yeah he, he does not as well as adele though <laughs> not quite <laughs> not quite yeah maybe it wouldn't be the biggest selling single of the uh, century but yeah uh, but there you go well congratulations on that and congratulations on everything and we're so happy that you're here because they're you know we were a little worried that you guys might not be able to make it to lollapalooza with uh danny with danny's hands yeah. uh how did that happen well, what, what and what happened? I think that was a, a consistent beating after over a longer period yeah. of time. There right. was an, yeah, an injury that happened, and then we just kind of powered through it, and powered through it, and then it got to the point where it just absolutely was not sustainable. We just had to take a, a bit of a hiatus. So luckily, we only had to cancel it, yeah. just one show. But I yeah, think, I think our priority, our number one priority, was making sure Danny was okay. You know, right? Got to take care of the. The, the brothers, you know. Well, he must really play the drums uh, hard. He must oh, really yeah. hit that. I think it was like a, a, it kind of had reached a breaking point at a festival called Floyd Fest. Uh huh. And uh, it was it how long ago was that? Ah, that was about less than a, less than a week ago, and he ended up in Floyd, he, Floyd, Virginia, Virginia. Yeah. That's and what Floyd Fest is. You know, when I saw Floyd Fest first, I thought it was a Pink Floyd festival. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we did too. We're like, oh, that's interesting. But yeah, at this point, he, at the very end of the song, he started into a drum solo at the end of Safari Song. Yeah. And at some point, I saw him smack the drum and a bit of blood spurted up because I'm wow. looking over him like something's something's not right, and he just looked like he's in pain. And he just started destroying the drum kit. Yeah. And it, it had just it flew everywhere and got up and walked off. Wow. And then we walked back and kind of knew that it, it, we kind of had to stop for a little bit. And I looked at his hands and they were a just obliterated wow. they just looked terrible so how are they doing now a bit better okay good better yeah. he had a blood blister on his index finger about that high off it was really, but yeah we got him to a specialist and uh no long-term damage so we're gonna power through these last few shows yeah, yeah. well that's cool well you have a couple of shows you have the uh the show at Lollapalooza tonight and then also yeah. at the Vic Theater the Vic, yeah. tomorrow night yeah. and we've given away a ton of tickets for that show and also for the uh, sound check party that's going on before there's going to be some invited listeners there watching you and Amazing. I know that yeah. Yeah, XRT really listeners have been really really excited about that it's been a hot ticket so sweet so that should be cool now you guys brother band uh, so many brother bands have problems you guys don't seem to you guys seem to get along really not well. yet no it's <laughs> yet <laughs> Yeah, well, just wait, I mean, just wait. Like yeah, the Kings, I don't even you know? like three album three maybe. Yeah, like yeah. Ray, uh, Ray and Dave album Davies three, don't man. even talk to each other anymore. But uh, no. but you guys have been playing music together, you know, going all the way back. When did um, when did you start actually all playing together? How old were you guys? I think Sam was about I think I was tw twelve, 
12 or 13. 12 or 13. Yeah. And, uh, and that's when Josh and, and, and Sam and I had started playing together. And it wasn't long after before Danny, Daniel came in and yeah, yeah. became the drummer. It was kind of a, 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 a pretty direct answer to the you know resolution of having a drummer yeah. right. he's the guy mm -hmm. yeah know? first time we all played together i think that's when greta van fleet was properly born wow yeah. so so when did you um well you started listening to music right like you you must have listened to a million records right as, Quite a, a few. as brothers yeah. And yeah yeah i mean like uh you know buddy guy has been just blasting over the house stereo you know longer than i can ever remember right because your dad is a big blues fan right oh yeah yeah, I mean, that's, those are tracks that we've probably heard in the womb, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, so, it's cool that where you're sitting right now is just blocks away from Buddy Guy's Club. Uh, Buddy Guy's Legends. The Legends, It's yeah. right there, Legends, like yeah. right yeah, be behind those buildings we, over yeah, there. Yeah, Dad, Dad, yeah, Dad, yeah. Is a, he's bent. <laughs> right. And he even made the uh, Buddy Guy gumbo recipe. Wow. Pretty that's, impressive. That's how dedicated this man is. He's blues. pretty dedicated. He's very dedicated. <laughs> well, you can hear the blues in your music for sure. You know, most of the uh, comparisons have been with Zeppelin, but you know, you went through it not through Zeppelin, but through the blues itself, kind of like the way they discovered the music they ended up playing. Kind of, right? yeah, a lot like the British Invasion, a lot yeah. of that. You know, it was kind of something that was never uh, sort of. Um, Sort of expanded an, upon it yeah you will. it's not like an intentional thing you know mm -hmm. it's not like i don't think that a 12 you know two 12 year olds and two 16 year olds really have that much control over you know conducting a certain <laughs> sound sonically you know it's no like, it's just i think it was the four of us getting together and organically through our influences right how we kind of sound that's your entree to it you know that's yeah. what that's what teaches you that's right. how you and, and you developed as players too because uh you know yeah. Quite the the guitar work on the record is pretty awesome. Well, it's pretty you. great, yeah. Thank you. And uh, you recently did something with Elton John. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. He invited you to a, to play at an Oscar party. He has bands play at his Oscar party. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think the last one was Ed Sheeran last year. He played there, and then I think Lady Gaga did it one year too. Yeah, but yeah, he's uh, he's just a music lover. He, you know, he yeah. loves it all, everything. And so we, right. you know, yeah, that was a crazy story because we had. We heard rumors of doing the Elton John, uh, and it, that's that's it was a ch it's a charity event for uh, his AIDS for foundation. His AIDS foundation, yeah. and so we got a call one morning uh, out of nowhere. We were in the studio and we were about to go over. It was about 10 a.m. We got a call from from London. We answered answered the phone and because our manager said, "Hey, get, pick up the phone tomorrow." And we're like, <laughs> "You're gonna want to pick up the phone." There's a call coming in from England. And we thought maybe it was like Elton John's manager or something. We had an idea, but we woke up, rolled out of bed, and that's relatively early for us. And we heard, we picked up the phone and, like, hey boys, it's Elton. You know, and we're like, oh, what do, we, what, what do we do? And so I think there was like 10 minutes of silence. And we're like, I'd say 20, hey, 20 minutes of silence before we actually uh, really understood what was going on. Yeah. It's like one of those moments, there's not many people who can really. Sh you know ha who can provide that sort of shock factor wow. but there are a handful and elton john is certainly one of them you know yeah so you guys have been fans of elton john you uh, have listened to his music over absolutely the years too, right? we grew up listening to elton yeah. so when you go okay you go to the oscar party like where does the band fit into the evening they're at the very end of the evening and everybody's you know hanging out and having drinks yeah. and they want to see the, a concert and so we got up and jammed and everybody was probably well lubricated and excited <laughs> for a performance and so we, we did uh you're the one which uh -huh. is uh, uh one of our songs uh and elton john he's like he's like we could do one of uh, one of uh your songs one of my songs we could do both whatever you want to do and so we did a rehearsal with him it was like mortifying to see him come walk up on the stage and then he's like <laughs> nice to meet you, Elton, and he gives you a hug, and then that all just kind of melts away. Wow. And, and so we did You're the One, one of our songs, and we did uh, Saturday, Saturday Night's, Night's All Right. Oh, wow. Which was his. It must have been a lot of fun to that play was with Elton a John. a lot oh, yeah. of fun. It was amazing. That is just an wow. all-out rock and roll song. And was there anyone that you met at that party that you, you were like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe who I just talked to? To a certain degree, there, I, there I suppose. There was a few, yeah. I, yeah. Think it was, uh, I think it's just everybody kind of in their... Uh, in their sort of natural element, just right. coming to have a good evening. Just hanging so, out, you know, yeah. It's really cool. Wow, that's awesome. Well, you're working on a new album. Is that how 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 far to uh, complete is the record, or that's, how to close to complete? That close. 
Let's say yeah, like that. Smaller than that. Like yeah. Kind of that. Yeah, just about done, right? <laughs> yeah, quite pretty close. Much. Yeah, and this one was a little bit different. You wrote songs in the studio. Yeah, there's. It was a good. I mean, it was it was different. Uh, from. Well, it was similar to the EPs in the same sense that yeah, yeah. a lot of the material kind of was ranging from four to three years ago. Yeah, and I, I would say 50, about 50% of it was kind of, you know, written during the recording process of the actual album itself, mm -hmm. which is really cool because it's, you know, like we get in a studio, we have time, we're constantly touring and all of a sudden we have this much time to work in the studio and then... Right, because you're, consta you're constantly playing. It comes, yeah, and it yeah. just comes to you. And from playing so much, it must have really, um, you know, helped a lot in the studio because you guys are we, really tight right yeah, now. Yeah, I think that so. on this record, you can really hear where we've come in the past year, just hitting mm -hmm. the road hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you, you're right. A lot of the songs were written in the studio, and we don't really believe in, you know, sitting down and saying, okay, let's write a song. Well, I don't think we've ever done that. Right. It just uh, it comes about in a certain way, and, uh, and it, it feels right. Yeah. And uh, for the most part of the album, we really tried to capture live takes, you know, because we wanted to take what's happening on stage and get it happening in the studio. Yeah. I think wow. that uh, we're very happy with the performances that we that we achieved on tape. Oh, that's yeah. great. Well, we can't wait to get the record by the uh, before the end of the year, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I know the uh, title is a secret at this point. Yeah. That's okay. pretty secret. Yeah. Well, we'll keep that a secret. <laughs> I, it's so secret. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> 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 What's the name of our record? I like <laughs> to keep myself in a constant state of confusion. Yeah, that yeah. Really ask me. All right, well, we're really looking forward to your set to here at Lollapalooza tonight and then tomorrow night at the Vic Theater. And today on uh, XRT, our Friday feature is The Rock of Lollapalooza All right. 2018. You guys certainly fit the bill there. So we're going to play. Right. We're going to play When the Curtain Falls. All Very right. cool. Right now. All right, it's Greta Van Fleet. I'm Marty Leonard. So we're backstage at Lollapalooza, The Rock of Lollapalooza on 93 WXRT.